And my mom had us go to church school and do all the, the things that you would do for a Catholic church and um, still didn't feel that connection. I've had a rough history in relationships and a lot of, you know, growing up with family deaths and things like that happening. And the biggest was my dad passed away. And that was really hard on the family. Um, it obviously changed a lot of things in our family and our lifestyle. He passed away in 2012. It was actually Good Friday. Um, he had been sick for a while. I hadn't realized how sick um, he had had um, a bout with uh, prostate cancer five years prior. And, you know, you're out and doing your own thing. I mean, the family, all of us were in different directions. And um, come to find out, he had had a fall where he had thought he got injured from a fall, and it was actually the cancer was um, back, and it was um, metastasized into his bones, and it was moving quickly. We really wanted him more here because we knew that there was, you know, advancements and things here in research that they do, so we felt like he might be in better hands. And we got him up here, and he was in the hospital about a week and a half, and he passed away. He had a, another condition that was starting to um, kind of take over, and it was making the cancer secondary because they were trying to treat that first. So it was very sudden. Um, you know, when they tell you, like, your dad has the week, if he, he may not make it through the weekend, you know. <laughs> he lived about a week just beyond that. And it was, it was... It was difficult, and I, I mean, for me, it was seeing my mom, you know, being left on her own, and I just felt really bad for her because she, they'd been together 47 years and hardly ever apart. So I felt like I wanted to be the rock for my mom, and I tried my hardest to do that, but it's difficult. Even through all the time that I was going through a lot of the rough parts of my life, I think I thought certain things were bringing me some kind of closure. I kind of was a control freak. <laughs> um, I'd go shopping a lot and thinking things were going to bring me some happiness. And I had more than one person tell me, you know, you think that this is bringing you happiness. This is not happiness. You know, there's something that you're missing. And all this time I kept thinking, you know, is it the right relationship? Um, you know, what is it? And it didn't really dawn on me until, it sounds so sad because it's taken so long. I mean, deep down I knew something was missing because um, I never felt complete, never felt whole. Um, and then when I started coming here with my mom, I just kind of felt like this feels right. It felt good. And it felt like something was telling me like, this is finally, like here, Lisa, this is it. You're finally getting, you know, what you're missing. And I was sitting here after service one day and I just, I couldn't stop crying. <laughs> it really, I don't know, something was speaking to me and it just felt really emotional. It felt like, it, you know, this is my path. This is the way I need to go. And I really need to like, make sure this is a huge part of my life. And so by the next service, I came back and I filled out the connection card. Um, and wanted to do the baptism and because then I also had seen that people had done the baptism here and him explaining it was very um, it was cool to me because I was baptized as a baby and you know to know that it's your choice and to make it special for me because now I I say so I say it's you know special and I get to actually be a part of it and and feel it and understand it and I, I, that makes me feel good